Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hayabusa project. Last week we took the wheels out, took the forks out and found some problems. We're still deciding what we're going to do with those, but in the meantime we're going to take the rusty old exhaust system off that's got some horrible corroded bolts and we're going to put a lovely shiny stainless steel 4 into 2 into 1 system. But mad for bikes are sent us. So we're going to get the tools out, try and take the old one off, and then put this new one on. So we'll see you in a minute. Finger tight, look. Yeah, I know, they all got. Oh. That is like finger tight. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with how those bolts come out. They were almost finger tight, almost like someone else has actually tried to undo them in the past or has took the exhaust off fairly recently. So, yeah, I'm quite thankful they've come undone and come undone easily and none of them are snapped or anything. So, uh, the next bit is I need to undo the rear cans and there's a bolt underneath as well uh, to try and get the system off. But because of how wide the cans are, uh, compared to the uh, like the ABBA stand part of the ABBA skylift um, I need to take this link pipe off so only one link pipe comes off a high booster system so I'm going to take that off get this off and then I can do the other side and then hopefully we can get the full system on so let's crack on So it's 3200. Blimey. How come you, you've done that on purpose? Uh, it's probably to make the image look right. Like the right brightness. They're not standard Suzuki bolts. Right, so let's see. Move 
Is that as low as it goes? Is yeah, so I, need to, I could probably twist it a bit. Well, that was harder to get off than I expected it to be. Did take some jiggling and a few minutes to do. Luckily I had Bill with me to help. But it's finally off now. One thing I did notice after we've taken the exhaust off is there's pen marks on there from where this exhaust has probably been at a motorbike breakers and they've written on it what it's come off. So that would probably explain why the, the header bolts were like finger tight. I couldn't believe how loose they they was i was a bit shocked really and pleasantly surprised now it's time to put the new one on i've got to remove the old header gaskets and put some new ones in and then we can start putting the header tubes on then we'll put the collector on the link pipe and the end can luckily all the pipes have numbers on them so you know where everything goes and it should be easy to fit so let's crack on
well we've finally got that exhaust on it took some uh, jigging about and twisting the pipes and bits and bobs like that to get it all to line up it is pretty close to the swing arm but it looks like it might clear so we'll be alright there um, should we fire it up for the first time make sure it's not blowing at the headers and stuff like that and see what it sounds like the only thing I will mention in the link pipe there is a fitting to put an O2 sensor in uh, the Bussa of this age doesn't have an O2 sensor and it doesn't come with a bung to blank it off so it might sound a little bit strange because I haven't found a bung that fits yet but I'm gonna get one so let's give it a try shall we I'm happy that it's not blowing obviously it does sound weird with the hole in the link pipe but we'll get that sorted before we get it back to Scotty and back on the road so thanks for watching the video we I hope you enjoyed it if you want to catch all the other project videos don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll get a notification every time we do an upload and if you like this video this video over here might be of interest to you and if you fancy watching our bandit projects it's down in the corner. So thanks for watching guys. And until next time. We'll see you later.